Today we're going to make the best fig cake. It is a soft, tender olive oil cake that is flavored with orange and topped with a mound of ricotta whipped cream and all the figs. It's to die for. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. So olive oil cake, super easy, really fast, no mixer, like let's do this. So we've got AP flour here, uh, baking powder, salt, uh, baking soda, and then just go ahead and give those a whisk. So next thing we're gonna do is zest our orange into our sugar. Um, I'm gonna do, you know, about half an orange. I like to zest my citrus in directly into my sugar because it, the sugar will actually pull out those oils, which is what, you know, flavor gives the zest flavor. All right, so go ahead and just get all of that. And then I like to just mix this in with my hand. Kind of give it a little massage. You can do it with a spoon, doesn't really matter. Um, just go ahead and, you know, kind of work that zest into the sugar a little bit. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to juice this orange. You could use all milk if you like. Don't stress about this. You can also use regular ju orange juice from, you know, a gallon or something. Doesn't matter. I've got a glove on because I have a nasty cut and I don't really want orange juice in it. So I'm gonna take my orange, kind of cut it in half here, and I'm gonna do this in a with a reamer. We're gonna try and get 100 grams or 100 milliliters, which is about half a cup. Oh yes. I think I have more orange juice on my counter than anywhere. Phenomenal. So our oven is ready. Our batter and ingredients are all ready. And our pans are not ready. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so we've got our parchment paper, two pieces, or one folded in half. Um, we've got a nine inch pan. We're gonna do two nine inch pans here. And then I like to just kind of draw around the edges like we're like crafting, you know? like it's elementary school. And then I'm gonna hold it on the fold and kind of fold it together and cut the two. Now I am gonna cut inside the Sharpie, one, because nobody should eat Sharpie. Two, because that was actually the outside of the pan and we wanted to line the inside of the pan super nicely. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, we got our parchment. You know where it fits? Really nicely in the bottom of the pan. Super stoked about that. Okay, garbage. We are just gonna spray these. We're not gonna flour them or anything like that. It's not that serious. So just go ahead and give them a spray. You can use butter um, or olive oil, I guess. That'd be a little weird, but you do you. Give them a spray. And then we're gonna place our parchment inside. Cool. Pans are done. Batter is ready. All ingredients are whisked and ready. Oven is at 350 degrees. We are ready to go. We are gonna to whisk together everything. So we're gonna start with the eggs and then we're gonna add our olive oil. Is it a lot of olive oil? Yes, but what are we making? An olive oil cake. So put that in there. Go ahead and give that a whisk, kind of carefully at first because yes, olive oil. And what this is gonna do is emulsify the oil into the eggs, which helps the, the batter not be oily, right? Yes. Shouldn't have done arms yesterday. Okay. Lovely. Now we've got our eggs and our oil. We're gonna add our sugar with our zest. All of that goes in there. No man left behind. This was a bold choice for me here, this bowl. But we're in it now, so we're gonna carry on. All right, now we're gonna whisk in our dry and our wet. Um, you could put this with that. It doesn't really matter, but I don't really, obviously don't have space. I don't have space in my measuring cup. So, all right. I, mm, I have concerns <laughs> about the size of the bowl that I chose, but we're in it now, so. If I had a bigger bowl, we could be a little bit more efficient. Lindsay. Okay, orange juice, just put all that in there. Ooh, fresh orange juice in the morning. I was kind of hoping there was gonna be extra, but you know, whatever. All right, last bit of our flour, all of it. Every little last drop, get in there. You can switch to a spatula if you'd like at this point, but sometimes because the batter is kind of wet, 
it is it is good to keep the whisk um, just to make sure you don't get any of those lumps or bumps or whatever but this looks like a lovely batter so I'm going to dispense with my whisk here we're going to divide this batter between these two pans just go ahead and kind of eyeball it they're the exact same pan so you know it's it's pretty easy to see the level of the batter in here and now our batter has been divided and we are going to put it in the oven that we've preheated to 350 degrees convection and it's going to bake i mean this cake bakes pretty fast so we're going to check it in 10 minutes maybe give it a little rotate um it will not bake more than 20 or i will be shocked but i've been shocked before so here we are in we go all right, so you can see obviously that it is golden brown. It has started to pull away from the sides, um, and when you touch it, um, it does provide a tiny bit of resistance, but not a whole lot, right? Um, it's not like, you know, it's still very soft, very tender. So don't mistake that tenderness for not being done. Um, and you can see that it's, you know, it kind of leaves a divot, whereas other cakes do not when they are fully baked, but this one definitely does. So now, sadly, tears. We need to let this cool completely. Um, I am going to let it cool in the pan uh, before turning it out, and that's going to take a minute. So stay tuned. All right, so our cakes are almost cool. I mean, they're basically cool. Uh, you want them to be completely cool before you frost them with a whipped cream frosting because otherwise it'll just melt and weep, it'll be sad. So you can also pop them in the fridge if you'd like. Um, but we're just going to quickly prep all of the things that are going to go in between the layers and on top of the layers. Um, starting with a ricotta. So the ricotta is actually going to go between the layers and also on top. Depending on the ricotta that you get, you know, it can be a little smoother or a little less smooth, but I like to have a perfectly smooth ricotta between my layers. And so I'm going to make sure that my ricotta is perfectly smooth. And the only way to do that is either to put it in a food processor or you can do it with an immersion blender, which is what we're going to do because I hate cleaning my food processor. I like to do this in a deep thing, um, a large cup or something like that. You can do it in a bowl, but the odds of it flying all over the place are pretty high. So go ahead and just... Now, I prefer a slightly thicker ricotta, especially for stacking cakes, but this is what my grocery store had, so this is what we're using. So I'm gonna take out the portion that I need for my whipped cream which is about a cup, and in the rest of my uh, ricotta, which is about a cup, um, I am going to put a bit of honey, about a tablespoon, just do it to taste. It really depends on your desired level of sweetness in the honey, or in the, in the filling, so it's really, it's totally up to you. Just give it a little taste. Well, that's delightful. So we're going to take this and pop this in the fridge until we're ready because like processing or immersion blending is going to loosen your ricotta um, and we definitely want this to stay between our layers so I'm going to pop this in the fridge uh, and then we're going to come back. Alrighty, it is time to make our whipped cream. So in the bowl we've already got our ricotta and we are going to add our heavy cream. We're gonna add a bit, a bit of um, confectioner sugar. You could also add honey here at this stage too, if you'd like. Um, and then we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. We're gonna put, your, put all of this in the stand mixer. And then we're going to beat this in. We're gonna beat this until stiff peaks. And then we're gonna chill it. Now scrape down the sides with gold check on the consistency. It's approaching soft peaks, peaks at this point. Ricotta whipped cream will over whip faster than regular whipped cream, just so you know. It kind of almost thickens even as it sits, so you want to be careful of that. Perfection. This is what we want. So it stands up, it's not over whipped, um, it's still, you know, soft and, you know, it, you know, if you put a lot on there it will slightly droop, so that's perfect, it's exactly what we want. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the fridge as well um, while we slice our fruit and we get ready for the assembly, just so everything stays cold. Alright, now we're going to slice 
are figs. You can do this however you'd like. I'm just gonna do, I think, probably, mm, quarters maybe, you know, unless they're particularly large. Ooh, look at her. She is pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of cut them like that in quarters and reserve them in a bowl so that I can easily pile them on top. If it has a large kind of stem on the top, you can cut that off, but you know, however you wanna cut your figs is up to you. Sometimes halves is really nice too, just, you know, big old juicy bite of fig. How many figs is too many figs on top? <laughs> Hmm, unclear. You know, if you cut too many, you can just eat them. So we've cut our figs, um, and we are ready to assemble our cake. Yay! Okay, so we are going to unmold our cake, which since we sprayed our pans, all that means is we're just gonna run an offset around the edges. Same over here. Do -do -do. Lovely. And then I'm actually just going to do it literally right on the top of my cake stand. Ta-da! Okay. Clean up any crumbs that you have created. Go ahead and pull off that parchment paper. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious, I'm going to hide that from you. Can't see it. Okay. We are going to put that ricotta in between the layers here. Um, could you drizzle some honey on here? Maybe when the cake was warm? Absolutely. Love how you think. So it's a nice thin layer. Again, we're going to have a mound of ricotta whipped cream on the top. Um, so we don't need to be extra on the inside, if you will. So I'm thinking in my mind that I want to add a few figs on the inside here. I do. I do want to. Mm -hmm. Yes but I also want them to be sliced a little bit thinner, so call an audible here, and just slice a few figs in thin slices, like so. Mm -hmm. You know what about the great thing about baking your own cakes and stuff is that you can do whatever you want. Maybe just one more for good luck. Now, I'm going to place these slices just kind of about. I do want the kind of the view from the side to be the actual Cream, so I just kind of want these to be a surprise when you cut into the cake, so I don't want necessarily for them to be able to be seen. Now we are ready to unmold our second cake. Now I'm gonna do it kind of like on my hand because I don't want it to like fall on this. I might regret this. Maybe. Maybe no. Okay, but it's a pretty stable cake. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna gently place it over the center of the, oh yes, yellow. And then I'm gonna peel this bad boy off carefully, more carefully than I was last time because let's be honest, I was a little aggressive. And now for the finishing flourishes. <laughs> You're like, what? I know. All right, whipped cream. Now I want mounds of whipped cream on top, right? This is like, think of it like the, the frosting for this cake a nice whipped frosting. So I want like huge round, like I just want a big mound. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of smooth it out a little bit, just the, just the, the edges here, just so it's everything I imagined and more. And now without further ado, we are going to adorn her with all of our jewels of the fruit world. I mean, that's how I feel about them anyways. And we're just gonna kind of, you know, place them on there willy-nilly. Well, as willy-nilly as I'm capable of, which is not really that willy-nilly. Okay, there you are. And we're done! Yes, that is the cake. So uh, we can go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with just like a little drizzle, and by a little, I mean a kind of a substantial amount of drizzle of, um, you know, honey because why not? There she is. The only thing that would make her prettier is if she had gold leaf on her, which is excessive and something I would do. But here she is, and now we're ready to try. All right, I'm gonna cut myself a generous slice because it works so hard. Yes, oh yum. I mean, just be aware that like the figs are gonna do what they want and then you can just put 
put some on your plate. I'm hoping that I cut a point on that slice because I can't see a darn thing for the figs. Okay, here we are. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, on her side she goes. <laughs> yes, look at that inside there. Do you see that? Do you see how beautiful and moist and yellow and soft it is? Oh my goodness, I am so excited to try this. <sighs> Brace yourselves. Mm. It is soft and moist and tender and you have that nice flavor of the olive oil and the orange and then you get the honey and the light and fluffy from the ricotta with cream. Oh my goodness, this cake is to die for. Oh, 